Okay, so we're getting into uh, part 10 now, and uh, if you've got this far, like if you've followed all the tutorials up to this point, I just want to say congratulations because, uh, you know, not many people, you uh, you know, a lot of people will just give up or stop watching at certain points. So if you got this far, then uh, well done, you are uh, doing well. Well, I'm assuming you are. So. Okay, let's get into what's next, which is the pebbles. So first, I just want to move all of these rocks back into uh, the first layer, which is where I sort of um, uh, finished uh, stuff goes. Because uh, we're sort of making like a mini uh, garden here anyway, so I may as well just you know, put in these rocks to just make things look a bit nicer, or just add a bit of liveliness to our thing, I mean, as I said earlier in a previous part, this isn't our, you know, this, this isn't going to be our final scene, it's just a, a mini scene that we're making in order to get things looking good, okay, so let's just, where's our camera, here it is, move this back up, and change the dimensions again, so just double it on the x-axis, like that, and maybe just half it, and then times it by 1.5. Okay, and then maybe if we just find a new home for this rock. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, all right, let's just scale it up a bit, but that would just make the texture a bit less effective. Uh, all right, so if we just put it there. Okay, there we go. So that's just our little uh, mini garden thing there happening. Uh, so that's looking okay. And uh, we're getting into the next part of the tutorial, which is the pebbles. Now, if I open up my final scene again, so go to the UV image editor and go to frame. Oh, wait, it's not here anymore. All oh, right, uh, I'm gonna have to open it up again. So, the open image uh, project. Something. Uh, one sec, while I find. All right then. So, just to check. Yeah, there we go. Uh, okay, so. As you can see on the floor in this scene, we've got these little pebbles. Now, when we zoom in, you can see that they're just these uh, low poly objects. And yeah, who the hell cares? That's what we're making, so we may as well just do that. So, this part isn't really going to go on for very long. We're just going to add a cube and delete the bottom of it. And one sec, I need to sneeze. Sorry about that. Okay, right, no more distractions, I hope. And okay, so let's just move that up there. I'm going to just scale this in a bit, move it down, and play around with the, the vertices a bit, make it a bit more asymmetrical. Okay, make sure there's no perfect right angles anywhere, because uh, you know, even though it's barely going to be visible, we still want to keep things a bit random. Okay, so something like that will be okay. I'm just going to go and place the origin of it uh, right at the base here, making sure that you know the base can be perfectly flat. Well, it, I think it has to be, uh, you know, as best as it is. So, okay, you've done that. And now we just have to give it one of our rock textures. So, for example, rock one. Now, if we duplicate it, and then give this one rock two, and play around with the vertices a bit more, so, you know, I mean, it, just playing around with the vertices thing, it, it's just something that you may as well do, I don't even know if it will make much of a difference, but, you, you know, if you've got the vertices there, you, you know, you may as well make it as random as you can, okay, but, you know, there we go, and make it, uh, just duplicate this one again, and give it rock three, uh, rock three like that. Oh, oh, rock three. Oh no, that's renaming it now. Right. Click on here. Rock three. There we go. And now we're just gonna press. Just scale it up a bit like that because it's sort of shrinking a bit too much. And move these around again. Uh, like I say, it's. You know, this is really an optional step. But you know, if you want to, then please do do it because it will help out the scene okay this will now become rock 4 and okay let's just 
lay around with it. Uh, that's looking a bit weird. Uh, okay. And bring this down, bring this one up, maybe. Okay, so that's a nasty little pebble. Oh yeah, give these smooth shading, because we may as well. Um, and last one, let's just duplicate this one. Just give it something random. Just play around with it. Okay, and make this rock five. So now we are essentially done with the pebbles. So thanks for watching. Uh, I know this isn't much of a tutorial, and it's only really gone on for like three minutes. So, uh, oh, five minutes. Oh, goodness, right. Okay. Well, that's the uh, the pebbles. So thanks for watching. Uh, come to what? Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah. Watch part eleven now, and we'll be doing the uh, let's think the, uh, the trees perhaps. Oh, oh no, I don't want that. I want this. I mean, just in case there's any more uh, assets that we need to make. Um, frame. Okay. Um, yeah, we're just going to be working on the trees now. I mean, there's not much else we need to do before we get into it. Uh, so, okay, let's. Yeah, we're going to get into trees. So thanks for watching uh, this short part. Uh, and, you know, go and watch the next one. Uh, thanks for watching and goodbye.